always tempting to, to throw more aside than him because you know how, how much I trust him and how much I, I love his way of, uh, of style and without any doubt he was for example praised during the uh, first half of the season as a, probably the best midfield player in the, in the championship and well deserved because he was there with outstanding performances and um, but it's not so much he attempted because he was brilliant uh, at Swansea he was there in the situation when he was completely in his rhythm and, and full of self-confidence and while meanwhile he's in a situation he was out for several months Thank God, really, right now back on the, on the training pitch, but even for a player of his quality, not that easy uh, just to press the button without the game to be immediately brilliant. So um, it's a, it's a yeah, really different, uh, different situation. Even a player uh, with his experience and his quality needs a few games to be there at his, uh, at his best. And um, yeah, it's, uh, to be honest, I'm always tempted to bring a player like Moritz or Mario or Tim or Alex back into the um, starting 11 because um, I like them, and uh, but it's uh, before each of the game the same. So it's more like, um, yeah, you're thinking a bit about uh, about the options, and also that, uh, that the other lads were able to to use their chances. And it's more like, okay, what what is necessary in tactical terms? Which type of player do you need? And it differs if you have a, for example, a home game against Swansea, or if it's a home game against Bristol, or if it's a away game at Bolton. It's a great honor, and and. Uh, Really grateful and thankful because it's it's not like uh, someone is speaking about this, but um, really experts and, and high-class coaches. And uh, for that, yeah, we are happy when we, uh, as a club or individual, are praised by um, so highly rated coaches. And, and when we speak about Neil Harris or Phil Parkinson, unbelievable experienced guys, and Graham Potter, like I said, I'm full of respect of his work, and I like a lot what he's doing, and I like a lot uh, how his team is, is playing. And in a really difficult first first year, I think he's doing a fantastic job uh, as well and um, I just can praise him and it's always good uh, if, if someone um, praise your work and praise your club and uh, yeah it's a, it's a good compliment for the players and, and uh, for our own club and it's, it's nice to hear. Yes. Yeah it was brilliant so uh, first of all uh, Nigel is a Norwich legend and I think what he what he did and especially in the promotion he was I think uh, more or less the only guy who were able to win the title um, on this uh, on this level and with 94 points and I know how huge uh, this uh, this workload is um, on uh, on this level and for that I just can praise him and um, full of respect and he is such a down-to-earth guy and so modest and, and was so supporting was really a gentleman and, and really nice to to speak with him and for me you know this is unbelievable support um, important because we attempted to to live always in, in, in our in our days and this is also important it's more like yeah we're playing in a bit different philosophy and try to bring a new philosophy in terms of recruitment in terms of playing and and um, to, to this club and, and I think this is quite important at the moment we are unbelievably successful and we are praised for this and um, that's also to totally fair that we are praised for this for this moment but it's also so important that we pay so much attention also what we did in history and, and uh, to um, all our traditional success and I'm not too carried away there not, there's not only this time when we are successful but this club is even bigger than each uh, and any individual so yeah, it's unbelievable. So we are really unbelievably impressed about the yeah about the spirit and the mood at the moment. So I mean, we've got the feeling so there's one unity in the city and the whole club. And, and like I mentioned before, all the canaries are flying. And um, yeah, this support is also crucial for our for our success because we we know wherever we travel, we have the support even when there are difficult times. Uh, we have the support in the away games. And when you hear this numbers, um, yeah, who trust us and want to be there in which league we are ever are in the, in the next season and want to support us and want to build together this bond and, and this one unity with us, it's, it's impressive and, and it's such a great honor to be allowed um, uh, yeah, to work for this club, to wear this yellow shirt as a player and um, yeah, also to be in this responsible position as a head coach or each staff member. So in this moment you really feel the, uh, how, how big this is and, and what a great honor this is and, and all I can say, we are all unbelievably thankful that we are able to work for this for this massive club and that we have this trust and this support and uh, yeah it's great to be allowed to be here.